up everyone i'm mts aka mel the scientist and today i'm going to be looking at 13 insane creatures created by scientists i can't tell you as a sci-fi horror fan how many movies are created just from this this subgenre alone <laughs> scientists playing god um so by the way i just saw the uh the, the, the new predator movie prey pretty solid gotta admit anyway um let's jump into the video and see what these creatures are this thumbnail is already freaking me out so let's take a look mankind's ability to control nature is beginning to get out of control animals are being cloned hybrids are being created and jellyfish oh. DNA is being used to make all kinds of things glow whether they were meant to exist it's... on this planet or not it's already too late here are insane creatures created by scientists What color would you like your fish to be when it glows in the dark? Starfire red, cosmic blue, or galactic purple? These glowfish are the first genetically engineered pets on the market to become av available to the public, but that doesn't mean you'll find them everywhere. Jellyfish DNA, or DNA from other sea creatures, is inserted into embryos of zebrafish, which will result in a glow-in-the-dark type fish. Other DNA from coral, sea anemones, and sea pansies mm -hmm. are used to make them glow in different colors. They were extremely mm -hmm. popular when they first went on shelves in Taiwan, selling for $18 each. It's believed that they were originally created to be released into water and become fluorescent when toxic water is present. Some people protested the fish, like in Canada, but eventually it was deemed that they weren't dangerous That's to anyone, straight. so they let people <laughs> keep the fish. Many fish have some natural fluorescence, so there hasn't been any negative genetic effects to the fish population just yet. Mm. Actually, this is a good time to uh, I pause it because I thought it was pretty funny that it mentioned that because what I actually do at work, if you wanted to peek at what I do, um, I actually lead this biotechnology program and what it encompasses is this molecular biology curriculum that um, imitates the process that biotechnology companies use to mass produce therapeutic proteins like insulin for type 1 diabetes patients and um, we don't actually produce the insulin where I am, uh, but we do substitute that gene with something called the RFP gene or the red fluorescent protein. And that is also um, typically found in sea creatures like sea anemones and things like that. So I just thought it was cool that they mentioned it. And um, we, uh, the process is the insertion of the RFP gene into bacterial plasmids using a bunch of different methods that I can explain later. If you want a video about it, just, you know, let me know. Um, and I can talk all about that, but, um, yeah, it's really cool. So. Number 12, superbugs. With all the organisms whose DNA has been unnaturally altered, you have to wonder what kind of environmental risks there are. As more and more species are introduced into the world, other animals are going to have to adapt to those changes. Some bugs will actually develop immunity to pesticides when they're overused. Yeah. This is true yeah. for other organisms such as bacteria, fungus, weeds, etc. Theoretically, mm -hmm. a new bacteria could develop which would kill GMO animals where they need excess antibiotics or were modified to be more bacteria resistant, leading to massive plagues. Other environmental mm -hmm. risks include the excess in pesticides seeping into our water supply and polluting our yeah. soil. As of right now, antibiotic genes don't appear to pose a threat, but we don't know the negative effects just yet either. We'll explain later on how scientists try to combat these superbugs later on this video. Yeah, that's a tough thing. Number 11, Killer Bees. This is what happens when people think it's fun to hybrid a little bit too much without thinking about the results, and the story behind it seems like something out of a oh. sci-fi film. Farmers who were trying to increase the production of honey crossbred the African honeybee with a European honeybee native to Italy and created a killing machine. This mix of genetics turned them into much more aggressive insects of nightmares. They don't need a good chase either. If you even consider disturbing their nests, they'll chase you for miles. At least 1,000 humans have lost their lives because and of these bees too. Right to. Let's hope no other hybrids will turn out like this one. Number 10, wow. Enviro Pig. A genetically modified pig known as the Enviro Pig, or the Frankenswine by many protesters, contains DNA of mice and also the genes of E. coli bacteria. This was used to help the pigs consume much higher amounts of phosphorus more efficiently, which is found in genetically modified soy, which also has its own complications. For normal pigs, they would eat soy that contained phosphorus, which would come out in manure and then pose environmental problems. The pigs were later euthanized when Canada decided to pull funding on the GE experiment. Why can't they just genetically modify the pig to have the best bacon or find something better to feed them? Okay. Number 9. Super Cows 
You might see humans competing in bodybuilding competitions, but in the European country of Belgium, they might have cow bodybuilding competitions. This animal has actually not been genetically modified in any way, and it's actually the result of extreme selective breeding over centuries. It turns into a lean, mean bovine machine weighing up to one ton. You might think the cow is on growth hormones or something. <laughs> this is due to what many are calling double muscle. That doesn't mean they have two of every muscle. There's a mutated DNA cell that reduces or eliminates the activity of the myostatin protein. This is the protein that basically limits the production of muscle fibers. This almost goes mm. to show how animals can get just as big from just farmer selected genetics. Jesus. The top bulls will artificially inseminate plenty of times in order to ensure plenty of attempts to make more bulls like this in the future. It's unclear exactly what happens for female cows with these genetics, but they don't come out quite as ripped. The bulls weigh too much to mate with a regular cow that you see on the farm, yeah. and special precautions are made. The bulls are shaved on a regular basis also, so the farmers can see more muscle definition. Number 8. Sterile Pink Bullworm Moss Bullworms are basically a superbug that can wipe out huge farms of cotton throughout the world, especially in India and the southern United States. It's become evasive, and Monsanto even said that their variety of cotton is ineffective against the pink bullworm. So what to do? Plants might have to be drenched with pesticides, or people can go out into the cotton fields and pick out the caterpillars. Scientists began exposing moss to enough radiation to damage chromosomes, which will then ultimately make them incapable of reproduction. You have to wonder if the government would actually do the same thing to human populations. Mm -hmm. Number 7. Gen Pets This photo here was made by an artist in order to expose people to bio and genetic engineering. Made of plastic and latex, it simulates low respiration. This isn't too far from the truth, however, and some genetically modified animals might shock you. This photo here shows a featherless chicken created in Israel. While it might have a few benefits for humans oh. to be featherless, they're often more exposed to harsh weather, parasites, and of can course. become overly aggressive. Number 6. The Vacanti Mouse Within the past few decades, scientists have made huge advancements in creating spare limbs, organs, etc., which would certainly be useful for us humans. But don't tell the Vacanti mouse that it looks pretty weird, because it'll definitely be able to hear you. Oh, would you want this goodness. mouse as a pet? The ear was actually cartilage modified in the shape of an ear, constructed from seeding cow DNA. When the cartilage began to grow, it was molded to look this way. There was no human DNA in the making of this. Also known as the ear mouse for good reason, it was created by Charles Vacanti in the University of Massachusetts. Number 5. Jane. Sterile Mosquitoes In an effort to reduce the mosquito population in California, scientists engineered a new kind of mosquito and released 20 million of them into the wild. Seems kind of productive, right? Well, au contraire. The mosquitoes that are let out into the wild are the harmless male variety who don't suck our blood. Their job is to get the female mosquitoes pregnant to spread their germs, which results in a sterile offspring. So it's just a matter of time before they got what was coming to them. The males are infected with Wolbachia, which is a bacterium that's naturally found in many different kinds of insects, but relatively unknown to the A. aegypti mosquito. This is the kind of mosquito that's responsible for spreading the West Nile virus and other diseases. Mm. Number 4. Pentagon Cyborg Beetle It really sounds like something straight out of a horror film. Is there anything worse than being spied on by the government and creepy insects? The government most likely suspects that you won't go and investigate this one too closely. This Wait. is modeled after a rhinoceros beetle and controlled by Radio Command. With a series of six electrodes, this rhino bug comes alive so it, and success. It actually has. That's, successful it experiments actually has have a, been conducted. Until the day comes when there's more cyborg beetles than real beetles, small radio-controlled UAVs could be used to find victims in natural disasters or in collapsed buildings. But in this case, probably use a spy on you. Yeah. Number three, <laughs> bomb sniffing clones. If you got yourself a good bomb sniffing dog, then you got yourself an extremely valuable commodity that many governments would like to have. There's often bomb sniffing dogs in high-profile places such as the Pentagon and the airports. So people around the world are trying to find a way to get more of them. It's believed that only 10 to 30 percent of bomb sniffing dogs will succeed after being trained on how to sniff out some dangerous devices. Hmm. One particular dog from Canada who showed quite a bit of success was cloned in South Korea. The demand for police and military dogs is on the rise, and a good clone can go for about $100,000 each. It turned Ooh. out to be a huge success, too. Number 2. Robotic Catfish Have you ever wondered who that hot girl on the internet you were talking to was? Well, here's your answer. A robotic catfish. Instead of putting their animals on cameras, more recent gadgets actually disguise their gadgets as animals in order to avoid detection. This <laughs> unbelievable catfish seems stranger than fiction, but was actually dreamt up by the CIA in the 1970s. This is what's known as a UUV, or unmanned underwater vehicle. 
It definitely has more spy equipment than any catfish you've ever met in your life. It contains not only cameras, but pressure holes, ballistics, communications, and even a propulsion system in the tail. You better hope this member of the CIA doesn't swim up to your party boat anytime soon. And number okay, one. Okay, well, oh. officially all catfish are now sus. <laughs> oh, wow. What hybrid would you like to see be created? Let us know in the comments section and we will feature you in an upcoming video. And number one, see-through frogs. Pollution can cause some really messed up things, especially when oh, it lives near a chemical plant. 60 mutant frogs were recently discovered in 2016 near a town in central Russia. The frogs have completely transparent skin and allows you to see oh, their internal organs and even their heartbeat. It wasn't clickbait. No longer will kids need to dissect frogs when they can see just straight through them. It's believed that mining operations in the area left a scar on the environment, and this was developed while they were still in eggs. Scientists wanted to recreate the transparent frogs using genetics this time, though. A group of biologists got together to determine which genes cause the skin color in frogs from the Japanese brown frog known as the Rana Japonica. The mm -hmm. see-through frogs allowed for the scientists to observe internal issue, reproductive organs, the heart, the liver, and whatever else you find in frogs. And they don't have so health you issues? Think of that video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my channel over here, American Eye. We'll see you there. Wow, so the so what they showed in the thumbnail was number one. Um, I, I mean, I've I've worked with um, see through organisms before, um, but yeah, that was kind of weird. And they don't have any health issues. I mean, I gotta look that up. What was the most interesting one of them all? They're actually all interesting and creepy at the same time which is downright wrong i wish i would see a a a, a beetle with a, a a chip attached to it they're actually going that far and then the catfish like i said before all catfish are now officially sus <laughs> And that's funny because my father um, and I always like to go to, um, or any other family members, we like to travel to uh, the Chesapeake Beach, um, which is in Maryland, um, like about an hour away or 45 minutes. And there's this, um, there's always this, like, this, there's this lake that's there and it's just full of catfish. I'm never going to look at a catfish the same way again. So this video has officially ruined that for me. Yeah, there are a lot of scientists that are just giving all the rest of us a bad name. Also, that ripped uh that ripped cow was kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um But yeah, other than that, yeah, you know, it's pretty sickening what uh what scientists these days are doing. And uh I just think there are better ways to go about handling situations and and saving the world but hey i just started my career so what can i say <laughs> um but yeah let me know what you think have you seen anything else that's way more insane than what we just saw let us know in the let us know let me know down in the comments and yeah thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video and please don't forget to like share and subscribe peace out